video, I will be talking about the Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES for short, and give you my thoughts about this game's console. I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, a thank you to Dempsey for suggesting the topic of this video. Now, for those who are unaware, according to Wikipedia, quote, the Nintendo Entertainment System is an 8-bit third-generation home video game console produced by Nintendo. It was first released in Japan in 1983 as the Family Computer, commonly known as the Famicom. The NAS, a redesigned version, was released in American test markets on October the 18th, 1985, before becoming widely available across North America and other countries. After developing a series of successful arcade games in the early 1980s, Nintendo planned to create a home video game console. Rejecting more complex proposals, the Nintendo president Hiroshi Yamauchi called for a simple, cheap console that ran games stored on cartridges. The controller design was reused from Nintendo's portable game and watch games. Nintendo released several add-ons, such as a light gun for shooting games. The NES was one of the best-selling consoles of its time and helped revitalize the U.S. gaming industry following the video game crash of 1983. It introduced a now-standard business model of licensing third-party developers to produce and distribute games. The NES featured a number of groundbreaking games, such as the 1985 platform game Super Mario Bros. and the 1986 action-adventure games The Legend of Zelda and Metroid which became long-running franchises. It was succeeded in 1990 by the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In 2011, IGN named the NES the greatest video game console of all time. Unquote. Which seems all well and good to me, folks. Now on to my personal views. Now, personally, I was not really aware of the Nintendo Entertainment System prior to the suggestion of Dempsey. Thanks again, by the way, though I was also unaware of the Famicom for that matter, as well as the fact that it took Nintendo as well as Sega a good few years to get their consoles out worldwide, though I must say that the entertainment system was a bit before my time, since I'm 23 years old as of the making of this video in early March of 2023. So after a bit of investigating, which mostly consists of internet browsing, as well as seeing what this system had to offer to the consumers of the mid to late 1980s. In this case, I have found the Nintendo Entertainment System to be one hell of a home run for Nintendo, a great system for its time that lives up to its namesake, breezing past the competition, especially in console gaming's main markets, North America and Japan. Though there was not that much competition at the time, folks, especially during the 8-bit era, with only Sega and Atari being the only major adversaries to Nintendo, after the video game crash of 1983, though the NES served as a foundation for another triumph in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System that was to follow, in the 16-bit era, also known as the fourth generation of consoles, an era that set the stage for the first console war between Nintendo and Sega. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Suggestions for videos like this one are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, bye for now.